He's like, oh, I wish this whole thing would go away, which is true. But he wished it would all go away, so everyone would just leave him the f alone. Action! Five on the set. Would you marry me? They just wanted to be married. You know, they just, they, they were in love and they wanted to legitimize that love. And uh, it was very hard for them to understand why that would cause offense to anybody. Jeff wanted from location to costume to the look of Ruth and I to, to reach a level of authenticity that, you know, was very specific. Nancy Bersky's documentary was invaluable for that. I think that Mildred was a kind of reserved sort of woman and I think that you know, the clothes, they affect how you move. It's very specific to a specific time, and I think that it was very important. I tried to understand the essence of who Richard and Mildred were. Even on the page, if I wasn't exactly sure if they did this in real life or said this in real life, I felt like it was in keeping with their character, and, and that's kind of the best you can do, I feel like. We actually visited the jail cell that she was held in, and it literally was tiny. It's, it's just this big. And to imagine a woman heavily pregnant, a young woman at that time, a young black woman, that was quite hard for me because I just thought what, what an experience she must have had and it was very traumatic for her. I really felt, felt for her. The real challenge for me as Richard was that Richard was so shy of the cameras, so shy of, of any public interest in his case. He wasn't a poster child for the revolution. He never wanted to be. He wanted to stay lo in love and married to Mildred. And the risk was that that reluctance to be a public figure would, would translate as uh, a sort of an embarrassment or a shame but he didn't have the words to really fight the law or express himself in the way that he really wanted to. All he felt was that something was very wrong, um, but he didn't know what to do about it. And everybody has that right. And that was the, sh that's the, the shame of looking back on a case like that 50 years ago and why we, I think, today uh, feel shame about certain things that are still not happening, for example, in my country in terms of marriage equality. Ooh.